episode. Hi, I'm Wildfire One. You're watching Nerds the New Sexy, soon to be listed. We're live, guys, and uh, I got a plethora of people with me today. Behind me is Monster Seventy Four. Over here is Baby Girl. And then over there again is you know that beautiful face. Hey, what's up, y'all? How's it going? We talked about this being live. We're hoping, what we're hoping to see is get some questions you guys can nerd out with us because the topic today is the Dark Crystal. We're talking about both uh, the movie and the Netflix series, which is freaking awesome. Netflix came out with a prequel to the Dark Crystal, and it, they did actually, I, you know, I think a lot of us came in, like a lot of us were, were anticipating this, but at the same time we weren't. Like, we were scared that they were going to screw it up, right? Yep. Like, we were scared that... Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, it's, what, 20 years later? First you heard about it, they were talking about doing an animated series. And I was like, you can't turn the Dark Crystal... You're going to do a prequel. Mm -hmm. You can't turn a Dark Crystal prequel into something it wasn't. Like, it was a live action. What, what did you think when you first heard about it, baby girl? I was ecstatic. I told my sister who grew up that was, like, our number one favorite movie so when we found out about it we've been watching to figure out when it was going to come out and i stumbled across it so you you thought um you you were ecstatic about the movie back in the 80s oh yeah i watched it over and over and over you know one that was always playing in my house i mean it was it was one of jim henson's like masterpieces, masterpieces. thank you yeah it was one of the it was a damn good movie and i think it the problem was, and I think Monster, you said this, the movie had a lot of plot holes. Like it, it said this, that, and the other thing, but it didn't give us a lot of answers. But the prequel did. Oh, the prequel definitely did. Well, I think it, it did leave. Well, when I watched it back then, I didn't realize how much they left out. They left out a lot. Oh, they totally left out a lot. And But that, that I think that in the long run, that was the issue. The issue was that they left out a lot, and it... There's a lot of questions, and I think a lot of us, because they were talking about a Dark Crystal 2 for years. The issue with that was, was that Jim Henson died, and of course, without the original master, you can't have that magic. Like, yeah. But then again, the, the, the prequels kind of prove us wrong. Yeah, kind of like the prequel better job. than the movie. Yeah, the prequel was, the prequel was amazing. Um, how many episodes is the prequel again? Because the, they did it episodic. Ten. It's like 10 episodes, yeah. and they, they got an amazing voice cast. Um, Mark Hamill played one of the characters. Oh, uh, Simon Pegg. Yeah, Simon Pegg. Thank you. He played he played the uh, counselor or whatever. And uh, if you guys don't know who that character is, he's probably one of the most has one of the most infamous sounds. You just heard him. <laughs> he's he's and he's known for like being very. He was the evil of all of them. Yeah, he was in a way he was the most evil of them all. Like. Uh, our main, our main character. God, I feel stupid. Like, the, I love these characters so much, but like when it comes to names, I'm like, damn, damn it. What I'm getting to is they, they're putting backstory in. I think they're, they're putting in something that we needed a lot for a long time for the show, but they still kept it, the, the feel like it originally was. What about you, Grizz? You're awful quiet over there. I'm looking at stuff. Hey, porn time is not now. <laughs> No, it's not my computer. <laughs> Dealer from Traces. Chamberlain is what you're talking about. Chamberlain, thank you. Yeah, the yes, Chamberlain. that was Simon Pegg. Yeah, it was Simon Pegg, yeah. Super cool. And it was really cool to hear him, hear that voice, you know, hear him say that. Hear him, hear him kind of, it was almost like reuniting with old friends in the with these characters. He almost sounded identical. Oh, yeah, he did a very good job. I can imagine him sitting in his, in his trailer, like, the whole time just... Mm, doing that shit for hours <laughs> until he gets it right, you know. Baked out of his mind. Baked out of his mind. <laughs> Munchy. <laughs> now, now they got to do another zombie movie where he does that to a zombie. Mm, Brain. <laughs> Shaun, Shaun of the Dead Two. He comes. <laughs> what, what was your first initial thought? Grizz on the fact that they're making a prequel. You know, I was worried at first and, you know, I, I really didn't know what to think you know, the first five, ten minutes in. I gotta agree. So, 
after like the first five ten minutes, I actually stopped watching for like two weeks. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, you know Are what? You yeah. So I got back into it, and after like the eleventh minute, I was like, okay, this because <laughs> like that that first ten minutes is so boring. Well, it just seemed like it was it was it was. Uh, it was heavily like on the love story, but I think that 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 was actually the perfect backstory for character, the protagonist. I think that was the because you know, what's what's worse than love lost? Yeah, um, not even love lost, love taken from you. I think that that was a good a good push forward to his backstory as to like why 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 he went from where he was. And the Gelflings, I guess, in the movie are supposed to be Gone. extinct. Right or close yep. to it, you know. Another thing I like about this is it, exp- it has a lot of explanation. I think we need to talk about the most important character in the entire series. No, his name is Help. Yeah, Podling. Paladin. Yeah, the Paladin. Uh, yes, Paladin. <laughs> well, why do you why why do you say he's most the most important character in the series? Because he protected one of the most the, the important female of the series <clears throat> with a fucking spoon. But, well, he did become a Paladin. So, why do you say... I mean, you said Pod, Pod was one of the best characters. You said that it's because he protect Hup. Hup. His name is Hup. Hup. H-U-P. He kind of... I, I liked him, too, honestly. He's, he's kind of like the uh, the pure heart of everybody. Right? Yeah. You know what I mean? He, he, he's like the actual Paladin, like a D&D game. Like a D&D Paladin, exactly. I can't I can't wait to see what they do with them in the next season. Oh, yeah. And they are... I guess they are set for another season. Which is kind of cool. You know, Netflix. Sometimes they'll play something and just like they oh. start to explain how the how the uh, gilflings died off. So, baby girl, what was your favorite character in this new one? Mother Maga. In the prequel, of course. Mother Obra. Mother Obra. Obra. There it is. Obra. Same same shit. Different day. And you so, know, if you poop, if you start pooping at eleven fifty nine and carry it on into the next day, the <laughs> same shit. Different day. Shit we talk about. Well, she she pushes the story along. Mm-hmm. You know, and in the first yeah. one, it doesn't really. She she's a character, but she's not a character. They don't. Yeah, they don't really explain it in the movie. Explain her too much. The Skeksis and the Mystics. Yeah, the Mystics. Oh yeah, yeah. I about didn't the know the they were connected. Dude, that threw me for a freaking loop. Yeah, they kind of explain the Skeksis and the and, Mystics and in the, the movie. movie. At the end, they go together. How yeah. In the, it, in the it, show, it's, it's like the the good and evil doppelgangers. That's yeah. exactly what it is. That's a, that was one of the cool parts, one of the good stories about that was that uh, was that the Skeksis and Mystics were basically one one being. So Monster, what about you? What was your favorite character? <laughs> Mine? Yeah. Uh, I, actually, I liked... So Brea is the one you like. You're, you like the youngest princess. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was rooting for her the whole time. And she, she was a badass golem kid. I don't know. My, I, you know what? My I gotta say, my favorite character is definitely... Uh, the main protagonist, Gelfling. Ran. Ran, yeah. He's, he, like, he kind of, it's cool because he's kind of yeah. coming, he's not really coming from the bottom up. He had to, uh... His grandfather did that whole double sword thing. Yeah. The, the basic story of this one is, is this. The gist is, love lost. Uh, the Skeksis are basically worshipped as gods, more or less, at this point, by the Gelfling. Um. Well, you think about it... They, they're starting to drain them now. Oh, they're kind of eventually. Trying. They're, they're gonna trying. be able to catch them easier because they're not gonna be as smart. Well, that's that's the thing. On. They they were starting. They they started, and this is the love lost thing. They they took the main protagonist's girlfriend and basically drained her of her essence, and that's what they're calling it essence, of course. Weren't they draining those little people with like this? Paladin guy. No. The whole the whole in the reason movie, they drained the podling. In the movie they did? They well they probably were running out of Gelfling. Yeah, because they explained it because they gave it to the new it made him uh, uh, young real quick and then it went away and they and they said this never happened with the Gelflings. Oh so yeah, they were kind of testing it on the on the podlings. See, then with the sense. podlings they didn't disappear like in the show. They just like became mindless. But they were still alive. That's See, I gotta, I, I gotta rewatch it. I used to love that movie. I, that's the thing. When I was a kid, like I think everyone had that movie growing up that they drove their parents nuts with, 
The Dark Crystal was mine. I begged and pleaded my parents to rent that movie as a kid over and over and over and over. I, I could probably recite that whole movie as a kid. My you know? dad bought it for us three girls because we wouldn't shut up about it. Mm. Yeah, it, you know what? It, it does make sense. It's kind of cool. They start they start basically draining the, the essence of uh, the Gulfling. Hey! After they realize that this stuff works, that they, they just say, fuck it. Like, we don't care if you worship us or not. You see us as good as evil, right? So they just start grabbing them. At one point, they start grabbing them and just taking them because they're going to take that, that essence one way or another. This is the first time that everybody's seen all three of us together, right? You mean monster. When I fuck up and I need help, I just run to you guys. Run behind us, you mean? <laughs> Did you see what neck map put <laughs> Fuck you, tall people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Well, let's get back to the subject here. What's your favorite part of the series, like, so far? What was your favorite, like, event? We'll start with you, Grizz. I would probably have to say that my favorite event is when they find the other half of the sword. Oh, you're talking about in that forge thing where they are not? Yeah. It's it's the resting place of weapons used in war. Yeah. That lore behind yeah. That. yeah. Once they're done where they put their sword away, once the war's done, they put the sword away and they ne hope and hopes they never have to use it again. I like that. Yeah. So they when he got that when it was in you're talking about when it was in that, that forge when it was like carefully hidden away by his father of all people. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Like that, you, are you talking about that moment where he does that really cool speech? <laughs> so that was your favorite moment, Monster. What's your favorite moment? Mine was uh, actually when they started actually explaining how they were going to make the the insectoid things. I actually was like, always wondered like what the heck they were and how the heck they came to be. What? I was excited beetles? about that. Yeah, the big beetle, robotic beetle things. So, baby girl, what's your favorite moment? Because I know mine. <laughs> you go first. Really? Are you are, are you wanting me to go first because you don't know and you're like, nah, or you want to hear mine? It would probably be the part where the rock person comes together. Okay. Okay. When... The rock guy. Yeah, okay, I get it. Okay, well, here we go. My favorite part is this. The part where there's a puppet show within a puppet show. Oh, yeah, you told me about that. <laughs> and it took forever to start. That was super meta. And it took forever to start it. And it was so smart how they did it. They said that we're taking the great art. They almost patted themselves on the back, the people behind the behind the dark crystal. Like, yeah. and then they go, and then they go. Like, I think they said something, almost making fun of puppetry at one point, almost like as a joke. From that point, I was like, this this is fucking great. And yeah, then the way they did it, that was a good part. And then the way I they totally did it, I forgot about it. It basically told the stories of the Skeksis and the Mystics. So it it basically leads to the fact that the Skeksis are all things evil, and the Mystics are all things like intelligent and. And, and right. Sorry about that. Grizzly had a, a little bit of a an issue with his internet. Continue with this. Oh, look, you, you froze up there, baby girl of doom. It looks it's like, not an iPhone. It looks like it's not an iPhone. It looks it looks like the problems are a plenty today. Do you guys, what do you guys think is going to happen in the next season? What do you think it's going to explain? I think it might explain like how like the uh, maybe get kill off all the. the Gelfling, or like, how they go extinct, or yeah. close to it, or like, they never really f uh, said anything about the darkening. They didn't finish it off in the show. She like uh, deep sucked up all the all that dark energy. Yeah, that he, that but nothing ever happened. They were explaining it in the show. But they, well, I think in a way they did explain, or rather they left it out in the open. I think that uh, what they're doing is they're going oh, to yeah. they're gonna they're gonna further address that in the next the next season as well. But that's what I think is going to happen. I think that they're they're going to add the darkening more to the. It's going to be more uh, focused on that in the second season. There might even be a third season, for all we know. That's what I think is going to happen. What do you What do you think is going to be in the next season, Baby Girl? What do you think? Maybe basically like the the Gelfling. Thank you. They kill off all the Gelfling. So you think that's what's going to? You agree with what Monster and said? And the of maybe those big beetle guys. We're, we're already going to see that, I guarantee you, and it's going to be interesting. Those are probably one of the most interesting things from the movie that like always that I always remembered, even growing up. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, 
stop the podcast. It's been, we're just trying something new. Uh, this is going to be the finale for season six. We'll be back uh, several months from now. Uh, we're going to take a nice long hiatus this time around. Anyway, guys, I want you to stay nerdy, stay sexy always. We'll see you next season, season seven.